hello and welcome back to my channel so this week there's a lot of change first i started to shoot in my bedroom second there is new her i know and then something happened we got 500 subscribers and thank you guys for subscribing if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe somewhere here or here i can't figure out because i'm looking at the camera so i don't know but it's somewhere here if you're watching it's on your right just subscribe okay and join the family for everything from education and careers we're going to start having guests on the platform who know about different careers because i don't know about everything i'm just an accountant a chartered accountant i probably know just that so we're going to have more guests on the show so today we're just going to talk about uh becoming a chartered accountant in zimbabwe so before i go into the video i just wanted to put out a disclaimer out there guys please forgive hukuzang because it's just like you could talk a big ground and it's got because it is what it is it is what it is just mind your families i know <laughs> chartered accountancy in zimbabwe so this video could be probably too long so i decided to cut it into parts so this is going to be part one of a chartered accountant if you follow me on your on social media you'll notice that i posted up a passing exams and being happy about it in 2018 um saying i passed an exam and i was graduating which is not the master's the itc graduation and then i also posted this year about passing apc and uh it's sort of like confuses some people people so in my family uh they don't even understand why do you keep going to graduations and you still say you're not a head chartered accountant so i just wanted to come out here and just break down uh uh to explain chartered accountancy in zimbabwe all right so that intro is way too long but well it is what it is so <laughs> um we're going to start with uh, what is a chartered accountant or a chartered accountant okay an accountant is probably just somebody who has uh, a degree in accounting but a chartered accountant is a member of a professional body of chartered accountants all right so uh, uh probably an accountant if you just have a degree as i have said but if for you to be a chartered accountant you have to demonstrate that you have expertise in auditing in four dis four four disciplines which is auditing tax um financial reporting and management accounting all right so you notice that i'm not talking about aka which is association of chartered certified accountants i'm not part of that body so i do not know but i'm talking about becoming a chartered accountant the ICAS route which is the institute of chartered accountants in zimbabwe which is what i am subscribing to i'm not yet a chartered accountant but i'm like at most six months out yeah, I know I passed the exams, but I haven't really finished the other part. So, but I'm really good at what I do. <laughs> um, I haven't really fin gotten all the skills that I require. So, in terms of, um, I have explained to you what a chartered accountant is. And um, let's talk about the respect. People respect chartered accountants and stuff. And I'm going to talk about how much chartered accountants end. So, most people leave the audit firms or just after qualifying. So, after qualifying you get something like probably from my friends that i've seen that have qualified probably their starting salaries were somewhere around two thousand but this is before zimbabwe became zimbabwe so this is like in a normal economy that is functioning so that's like two thousand dollars that's pretty comfortable to me right and so now that i've told you about what it is they do and what it is that that they make i will tell you about how to become a chartered accountant so for you to become a chartered accountant you need a degree in accounting so let's say you do not have a degree in accounting you can actually uh do i think there's some bridging courses with some south african universities for you to do that but then a degree is not enough becoming a chartered accountant is twofold it's the experience and is the education so there are three main exams that you need to take after the after having a degree so the first one is a postgraduate certificate and it's called cta which stands for certificate of theory in accounting so here in zim people used to do it with unisa but 
because of forex and also things changing um nast also offers this postgrad certificate and also chartered accountants in zimbabwe uh by second they also offer this um certificate and then after that so cta is offered by a number of universities so after you get cta you get one standardized exam that is then administered by the institute of chartered accountants zimbabwe which sort of mirrors the south african institute of chartered accountants and this exam is called the initial test of competency so the initial test of competency is written twice per year in january or in june so you choose the time that you actually want to write so if you write uh you choose and i'm repeating myself but wow after that after you write the initial so for those these are purely academic uh certificates you don't need any work experience but for you to write the final qualifying exam which is the one that i actually passed in february you actually there's a prerequisite um number of uh, days hours of experience so they say she used to be 18 but now it's 20 you need to have uh, at least 20 months with the training office being trained because um yeah they are approved training offices for training chartered accountants so you go and you work for like 20 months then you can write your apc i started working in february 2018 so that is how i was able to write in november 2019 so after that you still are not a chartered accountant accountant just because you've passed exams you also need to prove that you have gotten the competencies and the expertise that you require for you to you know carry out your job as a chartered accountant and you know what be offer your expertise out there so it used to be in terms of hours they used to say three hour, three years after university the hours used to be given to three years after university but now they have uh, it's now like a competence based model where they say are you able to do a b c d e they are like it's a list of expectation that a chartered accountant of just the chartered accountant should be able to carry out so then they ask you if you're able to carry these tasks out and then if you are then they sign you off and then you register with the uh, institute of chartered accountants in zimbabwe so uh, for me the point that i'm at is i'm done with the school aspect and i'm not really a certain daniel so in terms of the expertise aspect as i said i'm good at what i do but i'm just not yet um there in terms of having the um, that requisite uh, expertise but you know that some people usually now the expertise just usually just coincides with the time really so it's three years three years right so we will i will do another video where i will talk about um training to be a chartered accountant and also i'll talk about how to become um why and why not to become a chartered accountant like the ups and downs that will be a separate video but for this video i just wanted to just explain the process of becoming a chartered accountant in zimbabwe so don't forget to share with those with people that might be interested those in the accounting field because being a chartered accountant is like epitome of accounting so just share with them and also like this video and comment down below if there's anything else that you might need to know until the next video peace out